Hey guys, welcome to Indie Style. I am your host, Leah Devon. Well, today we have a very uh, enlightening show for you. I am here today at the home of the beautiful and talented Taryn Ashley. She's not just an entrepreneur with a very uh, successful business, she also labels herself a mamapreneur. So if you're a mama out there and you're working hard and you want to know how to grow your business, definitely uh, anybody that wants to grow their business, stay tuned because this is a show that you will definitely want to see because today we are definitely doing it indie style. Here on Indie Style, we'll feature successful entrepreneurs from across the globe who are making incredible strides in their industry. You may not know their names yet, but you soon will. I'm Leah Devon, and this is Indie Style. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Indie Style. And if you are just tuning in, I am sitting here with the beautiful, she's beautiful, and, and she's talented, guys. Her name is Taryn Ashley. And as I said before, she is an entrepreneur. She is a mamapreneur. And today we're going to be learning about her business. And what's more exciting to me is we are sitting here in her beautiful, beautiful home. So welcome, welcome to Thank Indie you. Style. Thank and, you. <laughs> and it's so exciting to just be in your home because we're this is where you work, am I correct? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, Taryn. So you are an entrepreneur, and that can mean a lot of things. Tell everybody what you do. So what I do is I like to refer to it as kick your butt in gear, lovingly, oh. business coach <laughs> <laughs> for mom entrepreneurs to help them reach their definition of success and level up their business while giving back some of the giving them back some of their time and also increasing their revenue while still remaining sane. Yeah, and she looks pretty sane. So you offer consulting. Tell tell our viewers what exactly that you offer. What kind of services do you do? Okay. So it's one-on-one -on -one coaching and it what we do is we take a look at your business and we assess, you know, what are you, what's stumping you, what is, um, what do you feel like you're stuck on or feeling stale with, uh, what are your goals, what are your dreams, what do you want to be so for your life? Okay. Taking a big picture view and then working backwards to break it down. Okay, so if let's say I wanted to open a... I don't know, let's say a sporting goods store, and I didn't know what to do or how to start, are you the person that could perhaps tell me some of the steps that I would take in order to do that? Yeah, so um, what we would do is, you know, a lot, of, a lot of our clients, a lot of my clients are um, more online business where they're like speakers, they're coaches, okay. social media managers, like either they have services or um, they provide products, things like that. Okay. Um, we are working with a couple brick and mortar businesses. Okay. So yes, what we would do is, you know, any business, the most important uh, aspect of it is, okay, what are we going to do to bring money in for you right now? Because that's, that's kind of important. Right. Like, that's kind of <laughs> how you keep your doors open. <laughs> right. You want to turn your hobby into your career so that it can be fruitful for yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's exciting. Yeah. So how long, let's, let's back up a little bit. Tell okay. everybody initially what you did. Like, when you got out of college, what did you do? Okay. So this is a fun story. <laughs> you ready for this one? <laughs> um, all right. So... What happened was life threw me a really big curveball. It took a hard left, or as I like to say, plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was hit uh, in, I was hit head on in a car accident when I was in college and broke my right leg in half. I had to fast forward the store. I had to go through uh, emergency surgery, physical therapy, all this kind of stuff. Okay. My life was completely, took a 180. I was on the road to uh, studying dietetics and that's where my that's where oh, I was wow. going. Okay. Yeah. And then like I said, as life would have it, 
Ta-da! So after, you know, having to go through rehab and having to kind of take a whole assessment of life mm-hmm. and what am I going to do? I got into real estate investing and that's actually how I got my first house. Fabulous. Real yes. estate's a good market. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And um, then what happened is my parents got into the real estate investing promotion side of things. And with my mom, who's the one who had the technology background, Mm -hmm. we had a computer in the house since I was two, but I completely resisted it. So it's one of those instances where it's like, take foot in certain mouth Mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Is she came to me and said, hey, you know, we want to implement teleseminars and webinars into our business. You know, do you want to help us out? I said, sure, you know, how do you do it? She goes, I have no clue. You're going to have to figure it out. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. Because we're going to take a break. But guys, we'll be right back. And we're going to learn how she turned all of this, not really knowing what to do, into something fantastic and thriving. We'll be right back. Not getting enough indie style? Watch full episodes at IndieStyleTV.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to find out who is doing it indie style. Hey guys, and we are back with Mamapreneur, I like to say that, entrepreneur, Taryn Ashley. So Taryn, you were talking about how you got into your online consulting, coaching, thriving. Continue with your story with your parents. You were telling us about how you tell us. Yeah, okay. So after my mom came to me and said, you know, do you want to help us out? I said, sure. How do you do it? She said, I have no clue. You're going to have to figure it out. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. (laughs) So what I had to do is I had to teach myself the technology, the platforms, how everything worked, all that good stuff. And I started doing that for them. Mm -hmm. And then I was the only one at the time doing that, providing that service. And so, you know, obviously the real estate investing gurus they were working with were like, oh my gosh, what is this? I want this. So I saw that there was a business there. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, this is where I'm going. So I branched out on my own, started my business and it just exploded. I have, you know, and that was almost 14 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you've been doing this for a while. Right. A minute. Uh, Yeah. A hot minute now. (laughs) (laughs) That's exciting. Mm-hmm. And what's, it, what is nice for me to see, um, just as a woman celebrating another woman, because we always want to celebrate each other and, and, and cheer each other on. I've always really believed that. Mm-hmm. Um, I look at the success that you've had, and like she's kind of doing this. When we say doing it indie style, she's kind of doing this on her own, which is yeah. commendable. Um, Thank you. And I joke, and I'll share a little story when I met her, um, cause we, we, we're neighbors, we know each other. And I was like, okay, what does she do? Let me figure <laughs> out. And, uh, I was so impressed because you've done this and created the success on your own. Yeah. I've been a single Do you mom, know what I mean? Yeah. Like by herself. So, um, it's, it's exciting for other women who are trying to thrive and who are trying to find a marketplace for themselves. So if I wanted to learn from you or figure out, okay, how do I do this? Tell us what kind of services that you offer. So um, at the top is the one-on-one coaching. That is where you work one-on-one with me. Like I said, we, we focus on your business. We make a whole assessment. Um, we look at your, like I said, you know, your dreams, your goals, your desires, mm-hmm. the lifestyle that you want, because that, that's different for everybody. You know? And that's why I love to say everybody's definition of success, mm-hmm. because what one person's is isn't necessarily somebody else's. Right. And so, so we take a look at um, all of that big picture. And then I said, you know, like we work backwards and we whittle it down and we go, okay, what are these next steps that we can take to start getting you there? It's I like to say, instead of baby steps, I like to say fun size because I love those little <laughs> candy bars. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, you know, we take those baby steps right. and, and bit by bit, you know, help, help these mom or female entrepreneurs get there Mm -hmm. step by step by step. And it's a process, but I'll tell you what, it's because this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You know, we're in this for the long term, Mm -hmm. not short, quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it sounds like you help entrepreneurs kind of design their life. You know, what is your goal of what 
you want to do and you kind of help them figure it out step by step, right? Like you literally like hold the hand and mm -hmm. say, this is what you do and that's what you do. Okay. So it's, you know, the, the purpose of our show is for people to meet successful entrepreneurs. And I love that our guests come on our show and they give like their top three tips. So if I wanted to, uh, grow my business, you know, what, tell me three of your top tips that you would tell me. Okay. Well, first of all is, you know what? Put yourself out there in a big way. Don't let fear, anxiety, what other people think stop you because that's all in your head. You know, we're all doing our own thing. Okay. So, um, I would definitely say, you know what? Put yourself out there and to help get over that fear mm -hmm. is to, you know, realize that you're doing your target market a disservice if you're not. I like that. You know, I like that. Because it's when you come from a place of service, you don't have to worry about that. You and you, you know, this so you're helping people. Okay. And so um, when you when you're not getting out there, you're not helping those that you want to help. Okay, so you have to put yourself out there so that you can do service to other people. Okay, that was her tip number one. Okay, guys, you, you got to stay tuned. We got to take a little break. We're going to come back with two and three. Wait, I can't count. Two and three. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Taryn Ashley. Are you still doing it indie style? To be a guest on our show, visit our website today at IndieStyleTV.com. We are back with Taryn Ashley, and we're talking about her three tips for success. So, Taryn, we have done number one. I, wait, did you guys pay attention? I hope you did. Okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would say number two, and this tip stems from the fact that I have seen this be an epidemic for entrepreneurs out there. And okay. I'm guilty of it. I'm a recovering perfectionist. <laughs> I'm recovering <laughs> part of that club right I'm totally part of that club oh my gosh <laughs> yeah and so you know what is don't let that stop you I always love to say take imperfect action like actually try not to do it perfectly on purpose because you can't improve what doesn't exist anyway mm-hmm so mm -hmm. if you're if you're constantly letting that stop you mm -hmm. you're not you're not taking action. You're not getting out there. Your business isn't doing anything. So you know what? S just shove that in the corner, tell mm -hmm. it to sit down and be quiet and just go and just <laughs> take silly. action. You are silly. Okay. Number three, go. Okay. Number three, and kind of like what I was talking about earlier about the fun size steps is... Because she likes chocolate, like little candy bars. But anyway, sidebar, continue. Yes. <laughs> That's what squirrel <laughs> is, um, you know what? Take those fun size steps. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about making these big gigantic leaps and that's all you can do. And that's, you know, that's the only way you can make progress. No, mm -hmm. I say poo poo on that is, you know what? Take these fun size steps because what happens is, is a lot of little things build on one another to create something huge and amazing and you gain momentum. Mm -hmm. So take those fun size steps. Every little step you take mm -hmm. is one step closer to getting you to where you want to go. Make the steps, not the little poo-poo steps. <laughs> that was... <laughs> No, that's awesome advice. Okay, so we've done one, we've done two. And three. When we've done three. Okay, so now I want you to talk a little bit about Go Live, and if I wanted to find you, how am I going to find you? Okay. Okay. So this is the fun part. This is where you take out your pencil, your paper, your laptop, and write this down. Right. But it's going to appear on the screen as well, but go ahead. <laughs> is, um, so you can find me on Facebook mm -hmm. at Taryn Ashley Live. So it's the facebook.com forward slash Taryn Ashley Live. And that is actually where I do my Facebook Lives from. Um, they are absolutely every, uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I jump in there and, you know, have some fun. And then also the Facebook group, Messy Bun Revolution. Yeah, she has her hair up in a little bun, and it's very cute. I get it, right? The Messy Bun Revolution. Mm -hmm. Right, right. 
So it is a Facebook group with a ton of amazing mama entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that I, you know what, they are supportive and I love to have it to be informative and inspiring and to um, have a community of where these mom entrepreneurs or female entrepreneurs can go okay. and, and create that synergy. That's exciting. And lastly, tell everybody your website. Okay. TarynAshley.com. Very good. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this was very enlightening, uh, informative, and just a lot of fun. Yes. So I wish you, well, I don't need to wish you because you're doing so well. Just continued success in everything that you're doing. And I like that you're helping others. That makes me happy when people are reaching out and they're helping other people because that's how you have to do it. You have to help each other succeed. So guys, I am going to thank my beautiful guest. Thank you for your time today and letting us come to your gorgeous home. And um, until next week, I am Leah Devon, but stay tuned for our Indie Spotlight Artist of the Week. Take care and be good to one another. Bye-bye. Disappointment life will surely bring There's no perfect person Hurt is gonna come your way You can choose to love them In a perfect way
if we have the good without love or bad. 